Hey everyone, uh, the sun's starting to come out, so it's starting to warm up, so I'm going to do a bit more a few things. Uh, the fire's going in the shed too, so can't complain there. Um, I brought a new ute a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't have it because I was out on BMW getting fixed. It's a 2006 Ford Courier. Um, it's not bad, but the problems they had was they had a water leak, which is why part of the interior has been removed because I pulled it off to dry out the carpet or the underlay under the vinyl matting. Um, it was only a rainwater leak, nothing too important. It was just a bit of stuff on they've taken this guard off to replace it, uh, to get it painted. Um, and one of the glow plugs had failed and they had it for three days trying to get the, the I don't know if anyone knows what a goat glow plug is. It's got a threaded end on it and a probe that goes inside the head. Um, the threaded end had come out but the probe had actually separated from the threaded part and stayed inside the head so they'd spent three days trying to get it out. But I got it back. Um, not bad, a bit heavier and juice than I expected for a diesel. Um, not exactly what I wanted, I actually wanted a Mazda. But so I wanted to change all the bits and pieces over and make it look like a Mazda. Um, but it's also extra cab, and or crew cab. I wanted an extra cab, but I couldn't, I just, it's just impossible to find out here in Tassie. It's not impossible. My dad was looking for one for just as long and he finally found one. He's got a 2004 Model 1. So, both happy with what we got. Um, but on the back here, I've been given to strip down from the scrapyard a x-ray machine. Um, this is my first strip down I'll probably do on YouTube, and I thought I couldn't not, not do this one for on YouTube, as I don't think there's many x-ray machines being stripped down on YouTube. But there, the main unit there is the Toboshua power unit. I don't know what these are. It's the scrapyard. Uh, that's an RMS x-ray controller. Uh, um, the actual tube heads a Phillips unit. Hopefully that's still got the tube unit because that look really cool on the shed. Um, yeah, so I didn't pull it off. Uh, found a little brass pump there. A marine, marine one. Thread of pipe ends on it. It's English, I assume. It's all brass. Polished up. I think it's missing a bolt at the top of the head there, or top of it. But nothing, we can't just tap a thread in there and put a bolt in there. Or even a blob of solder, I can't see the point and purpose to it. Um, got a couple of drills and tip. This one I cut the cord off, but I got the chance to. So Alex then plug it in. It's a wolf drill from the, I'd say, 40s. Late 50s, early, I'll say late 50s because it's got a plastic back, but it is a mainly metal case. So it could be mid to late 50s. That goes because it's got actually, I think either someone's changed the cord on it or it is a mod, more modern cord, which is from the 60s, but nonetheless, a couple of old drills, and that's about it. More oh, scrap pile. And this is why, I don't know if you can see, I changed them because that stuff there. There's rubber and it's all twisted together and it quite happily breaks down or easily. So it's quite possible that neutral and earth are touching or earth's simply broken so the metal case and the old wall live or anything. It's the same as the fan I did. So over there with the little scrap off we got at the moment. Anyway, I'll get to taking this off. Oh hang on, I've got a few another couple of these ones for Jared mines an older one around there. Uh, it's a part of a railway track system, but they've actually got T TR railways. The date they were made, mine says 1920. This is Jared 37, and the city they were made, which is Launceston, where I'm from. Um, that's Jared's, but I'm going to paint mine black, and it'll probably replace the beer keg as the door stopper. Unless I'll get this off, then I'll go rescue my brother, who's around a fuel up Bridge North. Unless, see you later. Hey everyone. Got the main controller for the x-ray panel down. Um, just threw it off back to you basically. I didn't break this, this is already broken, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so that's what we have. We're going to start ripping it apart. I don't really understand what most of it does. Could work it out, but parts are missing. There it all is in there. Parts that are missing. The variax and gauges and control gear, but as you can see, it's had a quite a bit of damage had occur to it. Transfer's blown off through earth there, so something seriously has gone wrong in here. Anyway, we'll rip into it. 
Um, I'm assuming this is why the X-ray unit was condemned. Uh, we've had a major failure in the here, there's a burn there, burn there. She got damaged burn marks on it. Um, also, the foam has also rather caught fire. See why it got condemned. Hey, look at all the resistors here. Relays. Beautiful. Anyway, back to it. Here's the front panel off the unit and you cut it off with the angle grinder. Quickest and easiest way possible. Would like to save more of the chaos, we could be really bothered. Uh, that's what you call a series. There's the large current. Rotary switches, pretty huge. Nonetheless, we're taking a couple of gauges out. I'm gonna, Alex is working on the front panel there. I'm just working on this. Um, yeah, there's a few faults you can just see by vis physically looking at this, so I'm glad I didn't try and energize it. And seriously, that transformer is freaking huge. Nonetheless, we'll keep going. Uh, the main transformer's out, I've cut it out, there's the wiring off it, I'll just cut them off and undo them, might do it later, might keep that transformer, depends what voltage you put in and get out of it. Um, this is the problem transformer, this is I think one of the main faults that's happened here, the wires have burnt out and gone to ground by the looks of it, and that's why it's blown off the earth stems and you done that damage to the bar there and cooked this transformer below it. So, we'll keep chopping away, getting bits out. Alex has nearly done the front panel over there. Unless, okay, that looks a little bit more empty. Pull all the relays and stuff off there. Circuit boards have come off. Some of the turn blocks are starting to come off. A little rectifying unit there. Little transformer unit here. It's all coming off quite nicely. Alex has finished, nearly finished completely stripping the front panel. He's just working on that front one there for me at the moment. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what that is. We'll have a close look at some of this stuff when we all finish pulling it all apart. Anyway, so it's like hey there, let's do a little bit more. Move this, do the back dome thing on here. Um, not the best circuitry stuff, but a bit of circuit, circuitry was in that section of the, which is, I don't know, sort of a front panel of the Toposhua control panel. Um, that was full of relays, but Alex raided most of those. The capacitor, I've cut all the wire off, it's in the pile outside, and the rest of them are resistors. Um, I'll pull them off, and most of them will probably just go back to the scrapyard. I'll keep a few. If anyone wants some, just tell me. But most people that watch this channel probably don't really do much of wrist resistors like that. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, I don't know what this really is. It's a three stack board. A few things in there. Um, found a date on it on one of the gauges here that we're drying out when we pull the covers off. Um, we've got a milliamp gauge. Um, I'm keeping these. I think Alex wants one. There we are. It's focused now. 1974. So it's a rather old unit. That cracking is the fire. It's burning all over there. Um, yeah, rather interesting. Anyway, nearly done now in this in this unit, and then I'll start on probably the actual head unit tonight, and then I'll call it quits. Anyway. Right, yeah, that uh, the Toshiba controller unit is pretty much dismantled now. Um, all I kept out of that was a few bits and pieces. Um, the gauges here, the couple of resistors. I kept a rotary switch. Where have I set that? There it is. Big rotary switch. More for shits and giggles than anything else. Um, get that. 
I think that to be um, get a couple of lights, little couple of switches. Uh, got this um, Variac. I don't really know what to do with it, but it looks too good to really chuck in the scrap bin. So that stayed. Um, simple little rectifier unit. Um, 12 volt rectifier, 12 and 14 volt rectified power. Um, the 14 is, I think, the 12, no, it's just straight 12 volt. There's the wire there. Yeah, straight 12 volt there on that terminal, and it's rectified on another terminal. And it's got 14 volt for current and leaving it right. So that's a nice little separate sort of unit that came out of it. I'll keep that. Well, I'll keep it for now. Um, I think that's all I really got out of it. And yeah, that's all we got. Alex got a couple of things, pretty much the same. A bit of insulation panel there, and that's it. So, um, cut the badge off, and that's it. Oh, and a couple of hinges down there too. That's all I got out of it. You know, I hope you enjoyed that that pull apart. Um, anyway.